it's getting cold and if you've got a cabin or an outside space, a workshop or anything where you use a stove to heat it, you'll want to know about our Rico Heat heating system. Come inside and have a look. So this little stove heats our cabin um, and in a normal situation it would do a great job in here but it wouldn't really heat the rest of the cabin. Um, so we've got a Rico heat. That is a little unit that fits into the flue immediately above the top of the stove and then the rest of the flue fits into that. And it's a sealed unit with an air pump. So I'm going to switch the pump on so you can hear that and then I'm going to light the fire and you're going to see how fast the heat coming out of this heat recovery unit builds up and pumps hot air into the cabin. So I'm switching the air pump on now. So it's coming out at 13 degrees which is the temperature in this cabin. Got a little fire built up plenty big enough to ignite the um, fire and get a good fire going in the stove. So my fire's caught, I've got a couple of little burners in there. But the stove itself obviously is still completely cold. If you look at the, the time, it's 12.20 now, and the heat is just starting to rise on the thermometer. Okay, now it's picking up. 26, 27, 28. So the fire is caught and the temperature coming out of here is already blowing warm. Here of course is completely cold still. So to your hand from here it's starting to feel warm but actually inside you can see it's passing 100 degrees now. So that Hot air is coming out of the, of, the, of the little blower here and it's immediately dispersing into the air. So if you watch this secondary thermometer here, which is obviously showing you the temperature, it's 14 degrees there and it's a minute's past, more or less. So you might notice that the hiss coming out of the unit has increased because the volume of the air has doubled because it's now passing 250 degrees. So you can hear that it's coming out faster. Stove is still absolutely cold. It's warmed up a little bit. What's happening is that at 370 degrees, heat is being recovered from the flue in the sealed unit as it's exhausting from the stove. So it's actually the hottest part of the flue, because even though this has got, it's a perfectly normal stove, so it's got baffles at the top, and actually they're brick, um, the heat is at its most intense here as it exhausts out of the flue. So it's now whistling because it's got the uh, thermometer wire in the tube because it's 440 degrees so it's nearly quadrupling the volume of the air as it's being pumped through. 460 degrees, it's going to be start to be levelling off at about there because that's probably the heat of the fire.
So there you go, it's pumping out 500 degrees. It's pumping 500 degrees out of this three minutes after you've lit the fire. Um, and that will keep pumping whilst there is heat in the stove. Because the amazing thing about the Rico heat is that because it's recovering the heat from the exhaust, that will keep on pumping heat whilst there's any heat in the actual stove. So it's just got a high temperature tube here which goes to an air pump that's connected to the other side and pumps a litre of air a second. So it's a standard quite large aquarium pump. So let's take this out and you can hear what it's like when it's operating at 550 degrees as it's coming out there. Let's verify that. Okay, and that is while the stove is at a temperature. If you look on the thermometer there, the stove is at a temperature about 60 degrees, the top of it, the hottest part at the moment. So that's five minutes after you've lit the stove. So that's how it works. You'll see the temperature now in the room here is moved up. So the temperature will go up much faster when it's being pumped than it would just from the stove itself passing radiant heat into the room. Um, and it will continue to do that even when you stop putting fuel on the fire and it gradually goes out. If you have a normal fire for a couple of hours, a few logs on there, and you damp the, the stove down, it will continue to pump air at this temperature out for at least two hours. And then uh, as the stove cools down, the heat is still retained in the center of the fire and is still being ex exhausted past the heat recovery unit. So it's still pumping hot and then warm air for hours after your stove goes out, which is why you get such enormous fuel savings from using the system. So check us out, it's ricoheat.co.uk and come and see our beautiful Ricoheat heat recovery systems.